I've said this before and I'll say it again. I love this time of year. I'm so excited to talk about some spring and summer trends that I'm loving. I'm gonna talk about some stuff that I've already purchased, some stuff that I'm planning on purchasing, and even some things that even though I like, I don't know if I can pull off. Really quickly before we get started, I just wanted to mention the sponsor of today's video, which is Majuri. All of the jewelry that I have on today is from them. So this is the Black Onyx Square Ring, and this is actually from the men's section. They do have a women's version of this ring, but that one was sold out. I love those two. On this hand, I have my diamonds band. You guys have seen it a million times. I always have this ring on. Like it's seriously one of my favorite rings that they've ever made. And I always have both of my bracelets. This one has my initial, and this one is just a very dainty, minimal bracelet. And I love how they look together and they dangle. These are the small chunky hoops. And these are the Pave Diamond Bold Hoops. And the reason that I wear these hoops so much is because they still make a little bit of a statement, but since they're smaller, I can get away with wearing statement necklaces with them as well. So I've mentioned this before, I have a lot of real estate from here to here. So when I saw this herringbone chain at this length, I knew I had to have it. And I got it with the intention of layering with the other herringbone chain that I have from Majuri, which I'm not wearing today because it's a bit much. But tell me this isn't like the cutest thing, just stacking both of them so it kind of looks like you wrapped a very long herringbone chain around. So I love this vibe, but for today, I decided to just go for something a little bit more casual. And another new addition is this diamond letter pendant. You guys saw my bigger pendant and I got this tiny one to be able to stack with it because obviously the other pendant that I have is more of a statement piece, so I like wearing that one by itself. This is just the bold boyfriend chain, I believe. I do wanna get something a little daintier and maybe a little longer so that it sits here. So as always, I'll put all of the information about my jewelry as well as names and links to everything so that you can shop directly from the description. So you guys know the drill. A lot of the stuff that I'm gonna talk about are actually things that I bring from spring and summer to spring and summer, and I just carry it on every year. So some of the stuff that I'm gonna talk about are not that trendy. First thing, I've talked about this before, but clogs or clog-like shoes. I have these on right now, actually. These are just my, I think they're the Boston Birkenstocks. I think that they just bring a little casual vibe to your outfit, but obviously I'm talking about all kinds of clogs. Would I purchase wooden clogs for myself? I really like the Hermes ones that I talked about, I think last year, but I don't know if I would spend that much money on one, but I still love the trend. This video is about stuff that I like, stuff that I see, even if I see it on someone else and I don't think that I can really pull it off, maybe I'll purchase like a rendition of that trend. Like for example, these Birkenstocks. So pops of color. Personally, I like to dabble into blues and greens. That is my safe space. So finding a color that really speaks to you, a color that you feel comfortable wearing over and over and over again, and a color that works well with a lot of stuff in your wardrobe. If I see that there's a specific color that's super trendy for the season, I don't go too crazy unless that color resonates with me. Like if I see a shade of green that isn't what I typically gravitate towards, but it's like very in for the season, I'm not afraid to dabble into that trend because I know that I just love different shades of green and maybe I can mix that shade of green with shades that I already really love. I've also been seeing a couple of patterns that I don't hate. Now I tread very lightly when it comes to patterns, but I think that if you find a pattern that you really like and you think you can wear with a bunch of different things in your closet, then go for it. You know, I already have my core closet. I have my basics. I get bored, okay? So I'm seeing patterns that I don't hate and I'm like dabbling here and there, but I don't go too crazy when it comes to patterns. And another way that I like to mess with patterns or try patterns out is through swimwear. I test out colors, patterns, designs through swimwear a lot of the time. Mini skirts, I feel like everybody has sort of ridden off mini skirts because they think that it has to be a low rise mini skirt. And guess what? It doesn't. You can wear whatever kind of mini skirt you want. 
it doesn't have to be like a very micro mini skirt, like whatever you're comfortable with. So personally, I think they're nice. I, I like how they look on other people. I have a couple of high-waisted mini skirts and I don't hate it. Will I personally buy a very like form-fitted low-rise mini skirt? Probably not, but something that's more of like an A-line that isn't too low rise or you know it's still kind of like high or mid rise i think i won't have a problem with one of my favorite ways to style oversized button down shirts during this time of year is with a form-fitted mini dress or like an a-line mini dress i have the ones that i got last year from outdoor voices which is an exercise dress that i just wear as a regular everyday casual dress but any kind of mini dress i'm also seeing some strapless dresses which i really like again even if you're not comfortable with strapless pieces or like very thin cami dresses and stuff like that or even form-fitted dresses if you're throwing something lightweight over it, especially like a button down, just go into any thrift store, go to the men's section, and it is oversized button down heaven. Collared cropped cardigans or cropped cardigans in general. Cardigans as tops, I don't know if, if I'm wrong about this, but I think it's kind of underrated. There's just something about a slouchy cropped cardigan or even if it's not cropped, like something that you can French tuck into your bottoms, like it instantly gives this very effortless vibe. And the plunge of it is very beautiful for like layering jewelry. And I think that it looks very feminine, but it doesn't look like you're trying too hard. You know, it brings that casual vibe into anything. And I love that. I love when things look effortless. Sporty vibes, I'm very into. Think of like a tennis outfit or a tennis dress. I think I talked about this last year as well. I just love everything about it. I think there's something so classic and timeless about the silhouette of like a tennis outfit. Whether it's a skirt and a top or just like the tennis dress silhouette. I really like it. You know, you can find something a little bit more form-fitted or you can find something that's a little bit more of like an A-line shape. And I think it goes really good with like higher socks and sneakers or with sandals. Maxi dresses or maxi skirts. Again, you know, they're so easy. I have one that's like a knitted or crochet kind of vibe and I wear it every single spring and summer. You can wear it as a cover-up or just as a regular dress and you know you look put together but you're really just wearing a regular dress and a maxi skirt you can pair it with anything and it looks good then it's kind of like wearing pants mesh or more like see-through materials i think are something that i love year-round honestly but Something that I'm gonna test out for the spring and summer is pairing something a little bit sheer with like either a burlette or a triangle bikini top underneath. I think that it looks cool and it adds a little bit of dimension, but obviously very thin fabrics, so it's not something that you're gonna suffocate in during this time of year. So I love that vibe. I'm gonna test out a couple of different ways to style these kinds of fabrics and then i'll get back to you guys so stay tuned for that crochet i talk about this every single spring and summer i feel i'm never gonna get over it to me it's not really a trend it's a classic like a spring and summer classic closet staple at this point whether it's a bikini a cover-up a dress a top a cardigan like anything i love it so much anything that adds texture to your outfit you know you don't have to go crazy with patterns you can just add that texture it's gonna make things look so much cooler suiting or any like trouser paired with an oversized button down with some kind of bralette underneath or a bandeau top this is something that i bring into every single spring and summer season till the death of me obviously not necessarily a trend but i still wanted to talk about it because i just love it black with white outlines or vice versa personally i like all black with a white outline and if you don't want to dabble into patterns that's a good way to incorporate like color blocking if you're not very comfortable with like color blocking or patterns that's a cool way to bring interest to your outfit just been seeing it a little bit more often now but it's something that honestly i think you can wear every year 
tailored shorts that are either a little bit more oversized or like balloon out. Again, you can pair it with a crop top or a burlet or a bandle top and throw something like a oversized shirt over it. And that's another, you know, it's that same vibe as the trousers, but it's the short version of it. I love cargo anything, cargo shorts, cargo pants. And I'm so happy to see that they're everywhere lately. I have the cargo pants from local European, my black ones. Such a fun twist to regular tailored pants or any oversized or baggier pants or wide leg pants. Like if you love that vibe, I think that you would really love cargo pants. Don't be afraid to try it. I think that they're probably one of the most flattering pants in my entire collection. For sunglasses, I'm really liking more of a statement or like edgier sunglasses, bigger sunglasses, something that's really going to like roughen up your outfit. I think Celine did a really good job. They always come out with the coolest men's sunglasses, but they're kind of unisex. So I don't know why they only put them in the men's section, but I love something that you can throw on an elegant kind of like daytime casual look and it just makes it look so much more interesting. Platform sandals, I think are still very much a thing. And like I've said before, I think that they just add so much more to your outfit. They roughen up your outfits and they make a statement without being like too much on your feet. I'm probably never gonna stop wearing chunky sandals. Statement sneakers are still very much a thing and I love them and I think that they go so good with like little dresses or shorts or any kind of spring or summer outfit. So they're definitely something that you're gonna get a lot of wear out of because you can wear them during the fall and winter as well. There's just something about a fun sneaker that is going to add so much to your boring outfits. And that is everything for this video. I'll put all of the information about Majuri, links and names to everything down in the description. So be sure to check that out. And another thing I've been posting on TikTok like every day and it's like a YouTube part two for me. I post little vlogs, tours, get ready with me's, and I style a bunch of things on there. So if you guys aren't following me on there and you like that kind of content, be sure to follow me if you're interested. So yes, I'll see you in my next video.